Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to change your OEM information and your system product name in Windows 10 and 11. This is where your product name is under System, and I'm going to show you this now because I don't have it yet. And this is where you can actually have a couple other things we can change. The name here. And we can add a whole support section. So whether you're building computers or maybe you manage a lot of computers and you want to put some information in there for them, it's easy to do. Let me show you. There's two ways we can do this with a registry file or with editing the registry yourself. So let me show you both. You're going to click. Let's show you the first thing first, start system. Let's go to start settings. And as you can see right here at the top, the easiest one to change is this name right here. This one requires editing the registry. So you just click rename, which I've already done. And when the window pops up, type in a name you want. Click OK and reboot. And you're all set from there. Now let's look at changing this and adding the other thing. So down below here and check the video description for the links, as always. And I'll put one in a little eye over here somewhere. You can click through to jump to this page. Download our registry file, opens this page, download now. You'll have two files inside the zip right there. So you're going to want to either open Notepad and open it or right click, open with, and choose Notepad. I've already got it open, so I'll show you that right now because it wasn't working right in my virtual machine for somewhere. It starts to pop up and disappears. So I've got it on my other PC right here. So what you want to do is change any of these names that you want manufacturer model support hours support phone url and logo the important thing with a logo is it has to be a bitmap it has to be pretty small i forget 150 by 150 in that neighborhood and any other size will be resized automatically so you can do it but it's important that you get the name right and so change your to whatever the name of your bitmap is and the path to wherever the file is once you have that all done and you've edited everything, all you got to do is run it with a double click. Click run. You got to click three times, I think. Click yes. And I think we have to click yes one more time. There we go. Now, I usually don't have to reboot for this. So let's take a look and see if I am right. Otherwise, I'll have to hit pause to reboot. Here's our system. Let's scroll on down to about. See if it's there. There it is. Everything you saw in the registry file. Now, the other thing you can do, too, is let's say you want to leave a phone number out. You can delete that line, and then it won't be there. So you can actually customize it pretty much any way you want because there's nothing here except for the link on this. So as you can see, just like a text file, you can pretty well add whatever you want, edit whatever you want, remove whatever you want. But let's talk about the registry now. Maybe you don't want to download the file. That's okay. We can do it in the registry. However, you may have to do quite a few steps to do it. I'm just going to show you real quick just to give you an idea. I, I think it's easier to use the file because you just edit it and you're off to the races. Save it any way you want. Let's open RegEdit. Start run. Windows key plus R RegEdit. So what we're going to do is, let me move this mess over because I got so much stuff going on here. Swing this over here. Back to the top. All right, we're going to start with H key local machine, and then we're going to expand software, Microsoft, then Windows. Keep expanding. Come on, Windows right here. So under this Windows, you're looking for OEM information. If you don't have it, you're going to have to create it. Whoops, we're here. Windows. Oh, current version. Okay, there we go. There, I feel better. Now we're in the current version. We're looking for OEM information. I may have, I should have it because I just added it. Right there. This is everything the registry file just added. This didn't exist before. So if you're here, you have to right click up back up here under current version, right click, new, key, and you need to name that key, OEM information, just the way you see it there, get the caps right. Now you're gonna have to come over to the right side and you're gonna have to put everything in its place. So 
Once again, if you don't see it, you would have to right click and do a new string value. Name it whatever you want. You see I got logo, manufacturer, models, support hours, support phone, support URL. Now another thing I could do is remove those too. So even though I've already done it with a text file, I could actually delete these right here. But it's, again, I think you can agree it's easier to edit with the text document, save it, import it, and you're done in no time whatsoever. So the other thing you have to watch out for, close it already, just to add a little pain to it. Let's see if it still left me there. You have to edit each one after you edit. So let's say you added logo. You well, Let's go with uh, model. Double click on model. This is your value data. So I could change that to anything I want. You're going to do that with all of these. Everything is in the value data. So create the key and just modify the value data. So again, I think you'll agree the registry files are easier. And there you have it. So once I get all done, I don't know if it did that now or if I had to reboot for that one. Let me look. I want you to reboot for the top name. I don't know why. No, there it is right there. So see the VMware is gone now. And when I reboot, this will say Major Geeks. There's your logo, by the way, your bitmap, if you saved it. Piece of cake, right? Once again, I think you'll find the registry files are the way to go. And that's how you can change your OEM information, your system product name, system product name one, system product name two. That's at least what I call them. Maybe somebody can correct me on that. And that's that. As always, in the bottom right-hand corner, you can click subscribe if we helped you out. Give us a like as well. Thanks for watching. As always, see ya.